What if you could turn a single AI generated frame into a cinematic film shot in minutes? No timelines, no complex workflows, just images, motion, cinema. In this video, I'm using Higgsville to generate ultra high quality images with Nano Banana Pro, then transforming those frames into smooth cinematic video shots that actually look like film. You will see how to control motion, camera movement, lighting and style step by step using a frame to film workflow that's honestly one of the fastest ways to make AI video right now. So let's get started. So guys, uh, after watching this video, you will get to know everything about Higgsfield and how you can create some high quality cinematic short videos using Higgsfield and how we can get better images, better videos, how we can, you know, gather some prompts and everything is in this video. So sit back and watch this video till the end because I'm going to cover everything in this video. Believe me. So coming to the Higgsfield, it is very, very powerful software for AFTARs, UGC videos, you know, semantic videos, authentic UGC ads and high impact video ads as well. So if you are on Higgsfield for the first time, so let me show you that you can create images, you can upscale images, face swap, character swap, draw to edit and insta dump, photo dump studio and all of these features are part of Higgsfield. They are also introducing new features like relight, in paint, you can select the area, describe the change and it is going to just uh, take they take that as instruction and update the images and you can also see some models that are coming in like sweet dream 4.5 gpt image 1.5 and the most and very very popular model i would talk about is nano banana pro so this model is changing everything and in the video you do have all of the required features like click to add to turn your product URLs into video ads, you have uh, draw to video, lip sync studio, Sora to trends, sketch to video, UGC factory, a video upscaler and all the really really useful features for video generation in AI and you do have all the uh, popular models for video generation as well like VO 3.1, Cdance 1.5 Pro, WAN 2.6, Kling 2.6 Kling motion control is also here, Kling one edit and minimax, Halo 02, Kling of Tars 2.0, all of these uh, nice and useful models are available in this application. So I'm going to show you how you can first create the images because generating images is very much useful and required for generating better videos. So with Hickfield, you are, you know, very uh on a good position to create the images because you do have everything like in gemini you struggle you know giving them instruction about the aspect ratio for example you are creating a thumbnail and suddenly it creates a square image and you are like why why so so uh, this application you know makes wonders by specifying the aspect ratio that you need specifying the quality that you will need and the batch size about how much images you will need in one go you can also use unlimited feature if you have the plan that allows you to use it and you can also use draw to edit and here you can use any model you are not limited to any specific model or feature you can use c dream you can use gpt image 1.5 whatever you like and you can use it to generate your images and if you have if you do have a lot of crates, you can actually use one single prompt or the references or the upload images or attached images and use that to use all the different models and see how they generate images for you and you can select the best out of them and use it for your purpose. <laughs> and you can upload up to 14 multiple images in your generation, right? And you can also use the generated images very well. For example, <laughs> If you want to use it like you can set it as a reference in one click you can reference more images right and when uh, you can even upscale those images you can multi-shot you can make multi-shot of it in paint a skin enhancer if there's any skin in the image you can in one click enhance the skin out of it you can change angles relight it ai stylist and all of these things upscale it you can animate it make video out of it start frame out of it right download it and reuse it, regenerate it, add that to a specific folder in the assets library, right? And you can also delete it, you can share it, you can publish it to your 
to your public hex field uh, URL or your profile, right? So this is something really very, very phenomenal, I would say. And uh, it gives you all the flexibility, all the power, all the capabilities and abilities to do whatever you want with AI, AI models, yeah, right? So it is really powerful with in terms of images. Now let's come back to the videos. So with videos, you do have uh, all the different models you can choose from here, like Kling, Kling O1, uh, Google VO 3.1. You can use any of the model. You can select it. You can set the frames, <coughs> choose your prompt, auto enhance the prompt, use multi, uh, use to create multi shot, multi shot uh, mode will let you, you know, create multi shot videos like there's a trim cut effect or something like that right your video is not in a one in single sequence you can choose any model you can choose quality ratio duration everything and generate it so this is really powerful and in this specific video we are going to talk about film like videos so now you do have pretty much of good, good understanding about hex field image generation and video generation so let's come to the cinema studio and this application the cinema studio feature allows you to create some film like cinematic shots right how you do it let me show you so first up you create a new project and this is the project that i created and these are the images and these are the videos right so how i created these images so what you need for any cinematic video you need a story right you need stories you need better stories and the stories should be well defined and they should be uh there should be a coherence there should be some consistency uh so that you get the perfect shots you can even use multi shots and four by four or nine by nine uh, images to you know get the perfect consistency and coherence but yeah you can also create one single image and create or animate it to get the perfect shots inside hex field as well so if you can describe the scene you can make a film like shot in hex field that's true thing so i will tell you how you can describe the scene and make a film like shot so i am here on my chat gpt here you can see i have asked it to create 10 ideas and for the 20 seconds highly realistic film cinematic video and it gave me some ideas right i, I chose one of these ideas and after that i asked it to create some shots create some scenes okay those scenes should be pretty much uh, detailed they should have description they should have a camera movement they should have starting frame prompt and ending frame prompt however i don't need ending frame prompt if i using camera movement so that's one thing uh, you can use only one frame and use camera movement to generate the video out of it in x field so you don't need ending frame as well but yeah if your scene is pretty much described pretty much descriptive then it is a very very uh, useful thing for you and in order to save you some time in generating some ideas and also to generate the <coughs> scene descriptions and prompts for the image generations for your scenes we do have these two templates these two writer templates that you can use one is cinematic story ideas generator and one is cinematic scenes generator so with this cinematic story ideas generator you can generate ideas for your story you can create some topics okay and then select the number of ideas you want and it will give you some ideas and the ideas will contain the story name story description visual style and atmosphere and a number of scenes you can choose here but yeah it will give you all the information that you can use in the cinematic scenes generator and you can paste the story name story description and visual style atmosphere and generate the num amount of scenes you want for your story and uh, yeah this will give you some really nice uh, detailed uh, prompts and here you can see that i have generated this and this is like scene one uh, with all the scene description and lens and framing lighting color grading sound frame image in a prompt and then scene two and scene three and you can utilize it i have already utilized it and the video was created using these prompts itself and nothing else so let me show you how i used the prompt 
so in the image generation when you go to image you can see that i have those prompts itself right they are long enough and giving all the clarity to the ai for generating the perfect frame for your video generation so first thing you need images right uh, for your stories you can create the images you first create the story you create the storyline and all the description for your story and then you can use something like you can go here to the image section paste your prompt and ask it to create the starting frame for your scene and paste all the scene uh, details with the starting frame image prompt itself and you can generate it and this way you can generate the starting scene you know starting frame for your scenes for all the scenes uh, the number of scenes you have in your story and you will find all the images here then go to the video section and paste your prompt again but this time <laughs> also use the image how just click on it and in the image generations you can choose the generated image like this and now you can choose the camera movement uh, it's stuck i will reload it it will work but yeah if you are using end frame you cannot use camera movement so make sure you can use only one of the one of these you can either use camera movement or both the frames at once so you can also use the duration whether you want five seconds or ten seconds uh, based on your scene description based on your the based on the requirement of your scene you can use the amount of time or you can specifically define in your prompts like how much time uh, the scenes would be because the your, your story is divided in the scenes and all scenes should have some timing right so this way you can generate the videos and these are the videos and the stuff you are going to get so your story and your videos all depend upon the uh, scene description that you have it should be pretty much cinematic it should be pretty much detailed and it should be short right uh, in this video you can see we have only three videos but what you can do you can make it uh, more and more <coughs> evolved you can make it you can improve it you can have about 10 to 20, 12 scenes right in your story uh, just simply <coughs> in here uh, go to writer or simply story generator in the scene generator here in the scenes you can specify about eight or we will also add more scene options as well so you can add more scenes and you can then have better videos because you will your because the ai will not have to uh, work on a lot of information at once because they have less time but more information then you don't end up getting better cinematic shots so the essence of cinematic shots lies in its timing as well timing motion and everything <clears throat> so make sure you create really short and tiny micro shots uh, for your videos and only then you are going to you know create film like videos so just to demonstrate you i you know created these videos but definitely you can um, go beyond it and i have told you the uh, real way the idea how you can do it but it's all up to you how you can use it so i leave you uh, everything in your hand so you can check out the link in the description and avail the offer if there's any running on the website and start using hitsfield and see how it goes for you it has a couple of plans that you can choose between the basic plan starts with 9 usd per month you do have pro plan with 17 usd around and ultimate plan with 1200 credits per month with ultimate plan you do have like lot of a uh, uh, lot of things available because you will see that nano Mana pro is uh, unlimited in this plan in this ultimate plan so it's really very useful uh, to use nano Mana pro for the video images generation and without nanobrana pro you are not going to create better images as of now as of today 
uh, when we are talking about this because uh, there is no other model as special as Nano Banana Pro to be honest with you and you can also use creator plan to have more and more credit limits and you can use it for unlimited video generations we use it for unlimited image generation uh, <clears throat> you do have queue and when you create any image with unlimited uh, feature enabled you are going to get it with some delay you are not going get, going to get it instantly it is you know and there is a queue it takes time so if a request you know goes but the response time with the generation com generation completion comes uh, way after in when there is unlimited feature enabled in your request so make sure if you are if you need to get the result faster you need prompt responses prompt generations then you shouldn't use unlimited feature you shouldn't enable unlimited uh, toggle in your generation request but if you are comfortable to get the generation results uh, sometime after then then you can definitely enable the unlimited switch in your generation request right so this was all about hex field and how you can create videos with it so i see you in the next video and hope that you liked this video and would subscribe to my channel for watching more videos like this so see you in the next one thank you for watching